today we are talking about unbelievable inheritances and the unexpected journey they can take us on. Our next guest, Olivia Joan, is the granddaughter of the trailblazing Joan Johnson, the beauty business legend and hair care pioneer. Of course, they were behind the legendary Johnson Products Company, which launched the revolutionary hair care products Ultra Sheen, yes. Afro Sheen. Yes. If you grew up like me watching Soul Train, you remember their iconic commercials sponsoring the show. Well, Joan and her husband George made history becoming the first black-owned publicly traded business on the American Stock Exchange. Joan was as much known for her business sense as she was her impeccable sense of style. And when Olivia inherited her late grandmother's vintage designer wardrobe back in 2019, she quickly realized the fashion was too spectacular not to be shared with the world. So she took to where else the kids go? TikTok. In a series of now viral unboxing videos sharing the very best of her grandmother's legendary style. Take a look. Today is the day that I do the try on haul of all of my grandmother's clothing. I thought it's only right that I show you guys a photo of her that I brought back. Uh, this is my grandmother. So let's get to it and let's try on the first outfit. This is the first thing I brought back. Now the second one. I still can't believe my grandmother like owned this dress. I've always seen her wear this uh, tunic in the summer so it's more sentimental for me. My grandfather sent me the rest of my grandmother's clothing. Um, I believe these are all her gowns. Oh my freaking god. I mean, it literally fits me like a glove. Just the intricacy, just stunning. Fam, fam, please welcome Olivia Jones to the show. Oh, wow. I First of all, let's talk about your grandparents and the family legacy. Your grandparents turned a $250 investment into a multi-million dollar legacy company. I mean, and, and at a time when so many people underestimated women, your mom was a Spelman College, your grandma was a Spelman College trustee, and her sense of, of business and style, people revered. Yeah. That's your grandma, oh my gosh! <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so when she passed away, did you did you know she'd collected all of it? Look, this is, you could wear this today, and you I do. Know, I do. Um, were you aware that she'd kept all of these immaculate things? Yes, yes. She had four different closets in the apartment, um, all for, like, different seasons. She would uh, switch them around and... No, she never threw away anything, never, she kept it all. I love, you know, the memory and the, the, all of the gowns and, and so many of the looks are just stunning, but that yellow tunic really touched my heart because you said, I remember her walking around in the caftan. That was your memory because at the end of the day, as beautiful and as legendary as she is, she's your grandma. Yeah, and that's what I always remembered her as. So um, in, the, in the final months of her life, did you talk to her about, like, Grandma, what, what do you want people to remember? And what do you, what, what was the... Unfortunately, I didn't really have the opportunity yeah. to uh, because she was in hospice, she yeah. wasn't vocal. Um, but it was a time to connect with my grandfather oh. and listen to him tell me the stories about them growing up wow. and their memories together. So that, to me, was the most magical part. So now you go in and you get the boxes. In the video, you said that that box was sent to you. Yes. So I actually flew to Chicago to I flew to Chicago with three empty suitcases, um, and I thought that was going to be enough, but clearly it was not. <laughs> um, so you came, you're like, okay, I've got my three suitcases. Yeah. So they ended up having to FedEx you things back. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Yeah. And what I love because your your grandma was so. Okay, you've won this audience over, <laughs> clearly. Uh, so it wasn't just clothes. You're talking about shoes, accessories, the whole lot. Yeah, even... <laughs> Your grandma wore those shoes? Yes. She, yeah. It was crazy. Okay, so how many hours have you now spent unboxing? Oof. I would have to say it took me maybe two weeks to do everything. But also because... Every time I would open the box, you know, I would just get a hit of her, oh. her fragrance, and the memories would just flood back. And so it, it, I couldn't 
unbox everything in one day. It was too hard for me mm -hmm. to do, so I had to do it in small. And this is your grandmoms that you're yeah, wearing now. So vintage Prada. <laughs> what made you decide to share it on TikTok? I took these like this opportunity to honestly document it all for my mom and my sister as well as my female cousins. So it felt more like a diary to oh. me. And also to showcase black excellence and yeah. you know, it's not something that we talk about no, that I... often. And when we do, it's an actor, an actress, or a singer. But like my grandmother was an everyday person. Like she No, your grandma I mean, wait a minute now. Okay, okay, Listen. okay. She, I saw her as I was like, gonna say, she know. might have been your grandma yeah. here, but she to your point. She, like, like Lena Horne and other women of her time, mm -hmm. epitomized. Yeah. When I first moved to New York, there was an estate sale. It was Lena Horne's possessions. And I was like, I will leave with one of Lena Horne's coats. And I own one of Lena Horne's coats. <laughs> and when I, when I signed the contract to become the first black woman to host the Today Show, I wore my Lena Horne coat. Because it, it's more than the designer or even what it costs, it, it is what it represents. Yes. Because you know for them to get in the room, they fought to get in those yes. rooms. As we do today, but in a different way. I love that. So, when we come back, Olivia is going to show us more from her grandmom's collection right here in the studio and what she hopes to share with the world from this great message after the break. of the big box that my grandfather sent me with my grandmother's clothes in it. I don't know where, oh my, wow, she really did the low rise, huh? Huh, okay, well these are the pants. And he also sent me this biscotta dress uh, that I probably will need to get tailored um, just to make it shorter, maybe. Look at these bad boys. These are so beautiful. What? Oh my, I've been wanting a coat like this. Wow. Oh my God, I'm obsessed, but that's all guys. Love you, bye. Ah! Welcome back, that was Olivia Jones showing the vintage designer clothing she inherited from her late grandmother, black hair care and cosmetics pioneer, Joan Johnson. Your grandfather's 97? Yes. Wow. And he is loving life. He's, he's loving life. Yeah. So he sent a lot of these to you. She said he's doing good and, yeah. and hanging out in the sun and enjoying mm -hmm. life. Yeah. Your grandmom had impeccable style. I ask you, I know you have cousins and other relatives. They got clothing before you. Yes. So right. my older, my cousins are a lot older than yeah. me. So they got like the first wind. Um, and then now it's my turn, so. I'm so struck by how contemporary your grandmother was. Like the clothing yeah. looks like things you could find today. This she wore to your grandfather's 50th birthday. Yes. This is beautiful, so bohemian. I know, right? Yeah. And it fits me like a glove, which is like <laughs> She's like, it crazy. fits me like a glove. Yeah. And this is a picture of her wearing it. Mm -hmm, that's my so grandfather as gran well. Your grandfather and yeah. grandma. Yeah. At the 50th. This is Bob Mackey. Mm -hmm. And a funny story about this, growing up, we would play hide and go seek in my grandparents' apartment and this is what I would hide in. Oh. Which <laughs> and that's probably her. wasn't the best thing in the oh, world wow. to do, but. <laughs> and this is your grandma wearing your hide and go seek outfit, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I can tell, I mean, in your home, there was such reverence for her, and, 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 and she carried herself in such a way. Look at you in the jacket. Yeah. I love it. Okay, this coat got oohs and ahs, but the story behind this coat yeah. is pretty epic. I mean, you know, first of all, uh, you know, people have different views on fur these days. This is vintage, yes. which it falls into a different category. It, you know, so this is a vintage fur, and the story behind it, so um, my grandfather bought this for my grandmother the second time around when they got married. Um, and what do you mean by second time around? So they got divorced once and then they fell back in love <laughs> and got remarried. <laughs> I know. It's a true testament. When you love somebody, no matter how much you, know, you might be fighting, love still finds a or way to come back together. Or just bring them a fur coat and you can yeah. get married again. Yeah. <laughs> Your grandfather was a smart businessman and a smart husband. No, my grandmother was a smart woman because she, my grandfather as a gift, um, took her to a 
fur shop, and she asked a sales associate, what's the most expensive fur coat that you own? <laughs> and it just so happened that this bad boy was $50,000. <laughs> oh, back then it was $50,000? Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. And you know. And now it's My grandmother priceless. always got her way. Your grandmother got her way for sure. <laughs> so you, do you feel, I mean, it's such a precious thing. Do you incorporate them into your clothing daily or? Yes, I try to. I used to have um, a struggle with that. I used to wear everything my grandmother's, but nowadays I like to mix and match my own style with hers. Yeah. To really, you know, combine the two. Yeah. And especially with this Bob Mackie jacket, yeah. um, whenever I'm going to an event or you know I have an important meeting, I love to throw this jacket on because it just really embodies her. Yeah. She always wanted to walk in the room and, every, and have everyone look at her and have eyes. And I know people have to wanted her. to buy some of this from yes. you, and you've said no. No, um, except for my grandfather, he did give a lot of her, like her clothing oh. to the Real Real, so oh, you wow. can actually. Oh wow. Buy it. <laughs> Yeah. That's phenomenal. And you are, you, are, you are a fashion photographer, and since you've gone viral, you've been uh, featured in British Vogue. You're collaborating with Hermes and Louis Vuitton. You just got back from Milan and yeah. Paris and all of those things. Yeah. And it, honestly, like, the most exciting part is to bring these clothes to Milan and Paris Fashion Week and wear them and have people ask me, oh, where, where did you get this from? And I have to like tell them, it's my grandmother's. Like, oh my oh, God. Like, don't worry about it, you can't get it, I'm sorry. Yeah. And so, and because she was so in love with fashion, yeah. I feel like she's with me when I'm going to these shows and I'm wearing her clothing. And it honestly, it's exciting, but also sad at the same time, because the only person when I was going to the Hermes show that I wanted to call was my grandmother. And mm. unfortunately, I can't, but having a piece of her clothing on me kind of, you know, oh. it's like I'm talking to her, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I know she, the whole family's proud of you. You carved your own lane in this world, and you're celebrated. Olivia, thank you so much.